Alright, you guys, Dev King here, back with a brand new video, and welcome back to another video, guys. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you about dev products, okay? And um, dev products are pretty cool. It's how you make money, sort of like Game Passes, but they're multiple times purchased, okay? So you can buy them more than once, and they're not just like a one-time purchase like Game Passes. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna start. So new base plate. Uh, we're gonna make a new place. If you if you have a place already, you can make you can use your place. But for us, we're gonna make a new place. Okay. Um, and then we first things first, we need to actually publish the place because we need to upload the dev products to Roblox. So let's go ahead and publish to Roblox. Um, here we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just hit create new. And then we're gonna name it um, dev developer product tutorial. Okay. And then you can name whatever you want. If you actually, if you have an actual game. Name it that, or if your game's already published, skip this step. Okay. Now, um, if your game's already published, then get the link to your game, or if you just publish it with me, get this link right here, and then go to your browser, paste it in, find that bad boy. You know what I'm saying? All right, and then drag it over. Okay, and here's your game. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and right-click it, or click on this part right here, and um, actually we'll go to create. I right, go ahead and hit create over here. Okay, and then you see here it says my creation of games. Okay, you have your game right here. We're gonna go ahead and click on this little um, like little setting thing right here, and then we're gonna hit create uh, or add gear. Wait a minute, where do I go? I don't even know. Um, configure this game. Yeah, there you go. That's that's, that's where I need to go. <laughs> um, and then and then over here it says developer products. Go ahead and click on that, and then we're gonna create a new developer product. And this is not a game pass. If you guys are interested, in, if you guys are interested in creating game passes, this is not a tutorial. Um, if you guys do want to create game pass. Um, then go to the last tutorial. I just made a one on that. Link will be in the description below. Um, so yeah, these, these are developer products basically. Like if you're buying coins on a game, you know, like Pet Simulator how it sold coins, or like Jailbreak how it sells cash. Basically, that that's what a dev product is. It's not. Um, it's something you can buy a bunch and not just one time. Also, if you guys are buying Robux, um, make sure to use code TAP. You know what I'm saying? I have a code. I'm also another YouTuber. Um, my, my name is Tapwater. I have another channel. So uh, make sure you, if you're buying Robux, okay, you click there and uh, type TAP and then hit validate. Boom, easy. And then buy a thousand million Robux, okay? Basically, what happens is when you buy Robux, um, I get 5% of the money. Not the Robux. You keep all your Robux. You don't lose any Robux at all. Um, I just get like, like out of the $5, I get 5%. So I think it's like 5 cents. But still, you know what I'm saying? It adds up, all right? Um, so yeah. Okay, so as you can see here, we're gonna go back here and we're gonna hit create new in the developer products, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and name it um, give sword or buy sword. And or actually, we'll name it give sword. Um, and I, I did the, I did a give sword game pass for my last video, and but it's okay. We, we can have a give sword develop, developer product too. And we'll make it um, a thousand Robux. That seems pretty. Uh, so like a reasonable price, right? Um, and then we have to select an image. Okay, so let me go ahead and select an image for it. And um, that, was, that was my merch design. Don't, don't, don't steal that. Okay. Um, <laughs> one second. Let me find an image real quick. I'm going to pick just a coffee in glass cup. All right. How does that sound? Um, this is from a different tutorial that I followed on Blender. Okay, cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and create. And there we go. We just created it. All right, so now we need to copy our ID. This is what we're going to use to actually prompt the player to buy it. And then we hit this little button right here, go back to our game, and then hit done. Okay, cool. Now we're going to create a new script, okay, and put it in a server script service. And then I'm going to um, go ahead and write out um, the product ID actually real quick so I don't lose that. And I can copy the stuff. So I'm going to do local product ID is equal to that. Okay, there we go. To make a few lines, we're going to go ahead and define the marketplace service. Marketplace service is what you use to... Um, actually, prompt the it's it's, it's a service used to like sell game passes and um, and uh, dev products. Okay, so we're gonna do local marketplace marketplace service is equal to game get service marketplace service. There we go. And then we're gonna name the players local players is equal to game dot get service players. There we go. Um, and now what we're gonna do is we're going to bum 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 not do this okay wait wait wait. delete this part right here um this is actually the server script side we'll do the local side first it's probably gonna be easier to understand okay so just keep this here this is good um delete the player part um but we're gonna go to the server or local script first so we're actually gonna make it prompt us like you know how it says like want to buy this blah 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 we're gonna do that first and then we'll make it actually handle it and actually do stuff all right so make a local script and put it in your starter player scripts down here okay and i'm gonna make it um game or 
dev product handler. Okay, you can name whatever you want. I don't I don't even know why I'm naming it, but I did. All right, cool. All right, so now we're gonna do the same thing. I'll actually copy that over just because I'm I'm lazy. Copy this over. We need this stuff on here too, and then we're gonna name players on here. Uh, local players is equal to game dot get service players. There we go. Sorry, sorry if I confused you, but we're doing the local script now because we want to make it prompt first, and then we'll actually make it do stuff. Okay, in the script. Okay, so um, what we're gonna do is go ahead and do make we're gonna make a function. Okay. Um, actually, you know what? We don't, need to make a, we don't need to make a function. Basically, what we want to do is we want to do marketplace service prompt product um, prompt product purchase. Okay, and then you need to do the player and then the product ID. Okay, now what does this do? Okay, so um, first things first, I actually need to find the player. So local players equal to game dot players dot local player. That's just getting your player. Um, so what does this do? Okay. Um, marketplace service basically what it is is it, it's its service right and then it prompts the product purchase okay now I'm gonna show you real quick but it's basically prompting the product purchase it's asking you know when that menu comes up and it goes like hey you want to buy this and it's gonna prompt it and then it's it's saying okay what player do you want to prompt it to obviously we want to prompt it to our this player right here okay and then we want to what ID do you want to sell or what product do you want to sell we want to sell this one right here uh, the one we just made Okay, so um, what we're gonna do too, actually, is um, well, like, okay, for example, like normally you wouldn't want to just like just prompt it right away. You'd want to do like, um, like if the player touched a button, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you can put a button in the start of GUI. Um, oh crap, screen GUI, and then for or text button, and then like buy, right? Um, now I haven't taught anyone this, so I don't really want to confuse, or I haven't taught my fans or my, like if you're if you're watching just my videos, I haven't taught you guys this yet, so I don't want to confuse you guys. Um, but basically, you normally make it so they hit a button, right? Then they could buy it. But we're, for for just to keep it simple, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna make it so after a few seconds, we'll do like a wait here. After a few seconds, then it'll prompt. So we'll do wait three, okay? Let me delete that real quick. Well, don't worry about that. I will teach you guys um, GUI eventually. Don't worry. Um, okay, so there we go. We got that. Next, um, that's how you prompt it. So actually, we'll go ahead and test it out real quick and show you what it looks like, because it does look really nice. Um, what is that noise? I don't know. Okay, there we go. Look, see, it says, um, "Want to buy the product? Give Sword for a thousand Robux. This is a test purchase. Your account will not be charged." Perfect. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna hit buy now, and then boom, your purchase of your Give Sword has succeeded. There you go, thousand robux. Now I didn't actually spend a thousand robux. It was a test purchase, so don't worry. Um, so yeah. All right, but now the, here's the problem. It didn't do anything, and also don't don't mind my character. Okay, I, I know it looks weird. Just 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 don't worry about it. Um, but it didn't do anything, right? So that's where this server script comes in handy. We got we want to make it do stuff. Okay. Okay. So what we need to do in this script, okay, is we need to actually um, make it do stuff. So we're gonna do local. Um, yeah, we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna do local function all right this is how the roblox wiki did it so we'll, we'll just do what they did probably easy to understand so we're gonna do that local function process receipt oh wait let me spell that right process receipt okay and then receipts info this may look a little confusing at first don't worry um it's not going to all right so actually what it's going to do is it's going to connect it to a function okay but it's not an event. Just don't worry, okay? Basically, all right. Picture this in your head. Every time that little like prompt comes up and the player hits buy, this function is gonna get called. That's what's gonna happen, okay? So we're gonna actually set that callback. Um, set callback, okay? And then we're gonna do marketplace service dot process receipt is equal to this function right here, um, which is called process receipt, but it's spelled the, uh, the capitalized um, P is, is lowercase, so that way it's not the same thing. But you see what it does? It basically, every time like this, the process receipt thing is called, it's not an event, it's kind of weird, it should be an event, but it's not. So every time that's called, it's gonna run this function, and then this function is where we're gonna actually do stuff, okay? Okay, so then what we're gonna do, is we're gonna do, um, we're gonna find the player. So that's what we need to do first, we wanna actually find the player who bought it. So we're gonna do local player is equal to game, get service players and then we're gonna do get player by user ID okay and then we're gonna do receipt info 
Okay. Okay. This is really confusing. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna get the players first. Okay. I'm actually need to find this part first. All right. We're, we'll define it up there. We'll do local players. Players is equal to. There you go. All right. So there you go. Now we have local player. So we're gonna do local players equal to players. So we're gonna find the players, right? And then we're gonna do dots, or, or we're gonna do get player by user ID, right? We're gonna find the player. We have a user ID. We're gonna get that. And then we're gonna do receipt info. Okay, because that's the parameter right here. This 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 parameter gives you a lot of like um, information, right? Um, it gives you the receipt info, and it can give you the player ID. Um, here, all the info you can get from there, it's actually a dictionary, um, is right here, okay? So you can get the purchase ID, you can get what ID they purchased, you can get the player ID, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna do receipt info dot player um, ID, and let me make sure I sold that right. Um, you see, uh, so that's what we're gonna do. And then you get the product ID, you can get the um, currency spent, so the amount of currency spent, okay, so amount of Robux, and then uh, currency type, Robux, remember used to be text and stuff like that. Um, Robux and then per place ID um, where purchased. So like if it's not the same place ID, there's other places you can make. Uh, if, you don't, if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. But um, yeah, okay, anyways, so that's what that is. Okay, so now we just got the player. We got the player because there's a parameter right here. It's called receipt info and receipt info dot player ID is equal to um, the player ID and we got the player from that. Okay, because that's, that's this function right here. That's what the function does. Okay, and then we're gonna do if not player. Okay, so basically, if this is equal to nil, right? So if we didn't get a player, like if if if, if we just like okay, if this function was just called, and for some reason we didn't get a player, which we should have, then what happened was the player probably left the game. Okay, that's what happened. And then if they come back, okay, the callback will be called again. Okay, so if they come back. It, th this this will be called again okay so it's, it, what's gonna happen after this it's gonna do if not player um, then it's gonna be like okay we're done and but if they come back then this will be called again okay now what we're gonna do too is we need to return um, enum dot per product uh, purchase decision dot not processed yet okay so you can see here it says product purchase decision and then it says not processed yet okay so it wasn't processed yet so we need to return that that way when they come back Okay, when they come back, we can know we need to run that again. Okay, so we don't want to. We you want to scam our players. We want to make sure it all runs good. Okay, um, so then we're gonna do um, over here, like right here, is where you actually. Um, we can do if player, but it's kind of useless. I mean, we'll do if player because it makes more sense. Um, so we'll do over here is where you de um, define what you want to happen. So what what do you want the dev product? Um, dev product to do for us we want it to buy we want it to give a sword okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to test right here or actually we'll get a tool to the toolbox um, open up your toolbox you just click it wherever it is there you go and I'm gonna type in sword and then I'm going to drag it in there and then we're gonna move it to replicate the storage and then let me actually name the sword in here too um, so I'm gonna do local replicated storage is equal to game get servers replicated storage and then I'm gonna do local sword is equal to replicated storage wait for child sword or classic sword there we go perfect all right so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do sword uh, we'll actually clone it we'll do local sword clone because you know we want to make sure there's more sword for other people who buy them local sword clone is equal to sword clone okay and then we're gonna do sword clone dot parents is equal to uh, actually we'll name it first we're gonna name it sword and then we're gonna use our clone dot parent is equal to player um, well actually we'll we need to get the character so what we're gonna do too over here is we're gonna define the character so let me do that real quick too we'll do local char is equal to um, yeah we'll do local char is equal to game dot workspace dot find first child player dot name basically what this means is it's gonna look in the workspace and since we're a character um, it's gonna be right there okay and um, that'll be cool all right cool so um so we'll do local dot um, so okay sword code dot parent is equal to char okay there we go we're good and then it should give us the sword now there's one other thing we need to do we need to make sure that we tell Roblox that um, this isn't really important Roblox itself it says important okay 
tell Roblox that the game successfully handled the purchase. Roblox needs to know this, okay? So um, we're gonna go ahead and do return. Oh crap. Sorry for the background noise by the way if you guys hear that. Uh, we're gonna do return enum.product purchase decision dot purchase granted. There we go. That's pretty much it. Okay, so now we have that. That's pretty cool. And um Okay, so it should work now. So now basically every over here you can see it says enum not product uh, purchase did not process yet. So that way it'll be called again. But now we know um, that it is granted, so it won't run this function again if they leave and come back. Okay, so this is very important. Okay. Um, there you go. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. We're gonna go ahead and test it out now and see if it works, and it should. I'm sorry this was kind of fast and a little bit rushed. I'm sorry if this was too fast for you guys. I'll go slower next time if you need me to. But um, okay, here we go. So it says want to buy the product gift store for a thousand robux. Okay, sure. We're gonna hit buy now, and boom, we got the sword already. Look how cool that is. We already got the sword. That's awesome. So it worked. It it, it worked. That's the point. Okay. Um, and actually, we'll go ahead and print two down here. Uh, we'll do like um, print receipt info dot player. Uh, actually, well, no, we'll we'll do print player dot name, um, and then we'll do just bots oh yeah we want to put a space between them just bought uh, receipt info dot product ID so the ID they bought uh, we want to record or we want to um, do yeah okay and wait a minute wait a minute um, now that I think about it we probably should check um, and make sure the product ID is right Okay, because look, like, okay, um, okay, look, because it's it's gonna process the receipt, right? So w whenever this happens, right, the marketplace service um calls this little function here, process receipt. It's it's gonna process the receipt, but if there's another dev product in your game, like if you have another dev product called, you know, local um other or dev, or we'll do product ID two is equal to. You know, if you're another one, it's also gonna process that. And what if that's a different game pass? What if that's different? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't know yet. So what you should do really is um, we should get that little thing right there, right? And we should check. We should make sure, um, or we should check for the IDs. Okay. So when you do have more than one game pass, this is important. You should do um, if product ID is equal to, um, or no, if sorry, if receipt info dots. Uh, I forgot the syntax. See. If it received info dot purchase ID, okay, is equal to product ID, because that's that this is the sword game pass right here. We'll, we'll actually name it that. We'll do sword product ID. This is the one, okay. You want to make sure that's right. Um, then um, you want to do this, okay. But if it's not, guys, that's that's, that's bad. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure you have the right dev product or reward. You give them the right thing. And then for this one, obviously, we didn't make this game pass yet, but if we did, we do like, you know, if receipt info dot purchase ID is equal to um, product ID two, okay. So then you could do whatever they, whatever that dev product wanted to do. This is important because if it doesn't work like that, then it could, it would like any any dev product that was called, um, even if it was like cheaper or whatever different dev product, it wouldn't um, actually work. So yeah, still so gonna test that, make sure it works. Hit buy now and okay, that didn't work. Why didn't that work? I don't know. But, um, oh, Mr. Beast upload is pretty cool. Anyways, guys, you get the point, though. Make sure that's all good. Um, and wait a minute. Let me make sure that's... You can, oh, that, that's the string. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I did purchase ID. Don't do purchase ID. Sorry, guys, about that. Um, it should be dot product ID. Um, so, yeah. That's what I meant to say, though. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, guys. Um, make sure you have that lined up if you have more than one game pass. You want to make sure you're giving yourself the right um, stuff, right? And um, yeah, all right, cool. I just bought it. it. Says use code tap. Just bought that Game Pass ID and the, our product developer product ID. And yes, I did. I did just buy that. That is awesome. All right, guys. So it did work indeed. I hope you guys did. did I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, like always, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, and use code tap if this helped you and if you want to support me. So um, yeah, all right. So now you can use your sword and battle. That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, go ahead and make some money with your games now, and uh, have a good one. Make sure to subscribe for more tutorials. More tutorials coming out. If you're new to scripting in general and you want to learn all the basics, I have a beginner series. Go watch that. It'll teach you everything you need to know, even if you've never scripted before in your entire life. So yeah.
All right, cool. All right, that's it, guys. Peace out.